In our today's video, we're going to be talking about something that has been <clears throat> troubling me for more than a year. I think two years almost. And I cannot figure out what it is about. At the very beginning, I would like to ask you kindly to hit the button uh, super thanks if any of my videos helped you uh, solve uh, any issue on your car. The only thing that it's about is that I cannot do duty cycle. I know for sure that all my sensors are okay, but still I cannot do the duty cycle. Although the duty cycle in percentage is not uh, uh, for me so important, and uh, I would like to do that uh, other way than doing it. I want, I, I like to do that uh, uh, measuring uh, the current on EHA, but uh, this is something what I don't like to see on a car. It's about my car. So let's at first watch the video. I'm going to be watching the video together with you and then I am going to analyze everything and to tell you what's wrong and what's not wrong. So let's do it. Let's go to the video. The video. My car was manufactured on uh, June 89 and as such it has uh, this uh, code reader but everything what is wrong that's shown in the percentage. So as we Turn the ignition on. You must get 70%. Why? 70% means that you have no RPM signal. And of course, as the engine is off and the ignition on, you cannot have uh, that signal. And what did it show in my case? In my case, you saw what I got. Now, as I start the car, then the percentage should drop up to, let's say, 30%. That means mixture enrichment. And then, then, I have to get steady 50% because 
what you have seen that's uh, the engine code as long as the engine uh, uh, doesn't achieve 80 degrees C then the percentage should be 50 as the engine achieves uh, 80 percent then the percentage starts fluctuating then it means that uh, the lambda started uh, uh, doing its work as you have seen in my case in my case nothing again nothing so as I look at uh, what it means 0% it can mean either that the multimeter or any testing device is wrong is bad either the connection between X11 and ECU is bad or no connection at all it can mean that the OVP is bad but the car starts fine so I wouldn't say it's about uh, uh, the OVP so now let's see what's happening with the X11 port let's uh, analyze uh, the next video in order to see if you get uh, voltage on the X11 you must stick the positive of uh, your multimeter in uh, port 6 on X11 I always <laughs> mix that uh, port and pin and the negative goes to the negative of the battery as for the ground the ground as for the ground the negative lead of your multimeter goes in the pin number 2 on x11 and the positive goes on the battery positive in both cases you will have to get uh, between 11 and 14 volts here is the result so what is it about them <laughs> it's about this you no! there was always something on my mind all this time uh, working on the car telling me check this you check this you it's about this you Nah, the, the ECU doesn't go bad. Uh, uh, no, the car runs fine, everything is fine. I cannot tell maybe the DCU is fine but what is wrong in my case is that this ECU does not fit my car That's something that uh, I have uh, seen lately and realized. Because this ECU I have on my car is made for the cars starting from September 89. And my car was manufactured on June 
89. So, doesn't make sense. Well, in my next video, I'm going to give you the table of all the ECUs that uh, fit which car. Which car needs which type of the ECU. They are interchangeable, but not all of them. So, uh, when you have an issue and you want to replace the ECU, then you must know under which number. Because the system I have on my car is uh, KE3A. And the ECU I have on my car is for KE3B or 3.5 as they call this system. And uh, let's say all the crucial pins are uh, there and all the components are there where they're supposed to be. But not all of them. There are slight differences and I believe that's my issue. So in the next video I'm going to be talking uh, more about this. And until then, happy Mercedes. So my dear ones, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't click uh, the button skip at. It is going to help me a lot. And till the next video, happy Mercedes-ing.